So in this video, I want to introduce you to dimensional analysis. And there are three fundamental dimensions that we work with and you need to be aware of. And that is mass, length and time. So mass is represented by M, length by L and time by T. And when we want to talk about the dimensions of something, so if we wanted to talk about the dimensions of area, then we would put it in square brackets, like so. And we know that area is one length multiplied by another length. So the dimensions of area would be L squared, okay, regardless of the formula you're working with. So let's consider uh, another couple of um, things that we work with. So let's say um, GPE, for example, gravitational potential energy. So what are the dimensions of gravitational potential energy? Now we know that the formula for GPE is MGH. Okay, so that is a mass times by an acceleration times by height, okay, which is a length. So you have a mass, okay, which is capital M. You've then got an acceleration. So think about the units. The units for acceleration are meters per second per second. Now, meters is a length. And per second per second is time, but that's to the minus 2, so over t squared. And then the h is a length. So we would have this. Now, we can rewrite that, and there's nothing stopping you from writing this as l t to the minus 2, by the way, just to be clear. And we can write this as m, then we've got l squared, t to the minus 2. OK. What about, let's say, work done? The dimensions of work done. Now, work done was a force times by a distance. Okay, now what was a force? Well, force is a mass times acceleration, isn't it? So you could think of this as mass times acceleration times by a distance, S. So mass times by acceleration times by a distance, which is L. And this is precisely what we had before. And this makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, Because GPE, work done, uh, both have the same units. They're both measured in joules. Okay, um, Both energy. So this is conceptually what we are working with. We should be able to work out um, the dimensions of uh, these quantities that we work with. Okay? And we're going to look at more examples of these in the coming videos.